Well, look, I want to go through each game specifically now with you. So, obviously, Paris Saint-Germain against uh, Barcelona, that'll be a, a massive game. And also, Ibrahimovic, who left uh, Barcelona under a bit of a cloud, still has a wee bit of annoyance towards them. He will obviously be trying to do his utmost to try and beat them. Can you see it? Um, I could see them causing uh, a few problems, but I can't see them causing an upset. I just think Paris Saint-Germain haven't got enough about them to, to beat Barcelona home or away. I think uh, Barcelona will score in Paris Saint-Germain, in Paris, and I think they'll, 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 they'll definitely score in the new Camp. They're scoring goals for fun anyway. They're averaging between three and four goals a game at home. Can I ask a question? You know, is the advantage with the team, uh, you know, Barcelona are away in the first leg, is the advantage with them because they have the second leg at home? I would say uh, the second leg, if you've got the second leg at home, you should be the, the team that has the advantage. But it didn't work out that way for, um, for Schalke against Galatasaray. Galatasaray scored three mm -hmm. against Schalke. And it's all about the player's application and, and their, 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 their positive attitude. And the, the Barcelona players believe they can score, score goals home and away. So it, it won't matter in that game. I just think Barcelona will score on both the legs and they'll go through. 